Okay, I feel it only necessary to bring you up to date. I'm letting you watch uh, Flatbed Park. So you can get a feel for what I'm dealing with right now. It is what I consider trucker rush hour for parking. I couldn't believe there's spots that just loves. I parked here before, but I was bobtail. Um, but the reason this spot was available is because nobody likes to park here because it usually ends up holding up traffic for getting fuel. He's gotten lucky. Nobody's rushing him. I had uh, I had to hurry up, but I took my time. I learned I'm the captain of my ship. You all, if you're following me, you all remember that incident in Texas. That was the. Uh, that was the accident that got me fired from night. So I took my time. I was I was calm. Uh, the guy even honked his horn. I didn't even I didn't even acknowledge him. I just got back in my truck and I backed myself in. And I'll tell you what, I did a pretty good job. Uh, there's a little more room here than there was before, but I'm getting a lot better at my 90. In fact, that that's probably the best 90. I only had to do one pull up. So um, you'll see here. See these trucks coming here, that green truck. This is this is the route right here to the fuel island. So that's where I have to be when I'm parking. So there's one spot left to me on the right. Anyway, I wanted to bring you up to date because uh, y'all saw my, well, if you saw my post this morning um, about what would you do? Well, this is the what would you do follow up. So I hate hindsight, but I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, the hindsight I hate because once, the thing about hindsight that I don't like is, is you generally have a lot more time to review the, the facts of hindsight. And you have the time without the pressure to evaluate certain other options you might have with hindsight. So I hate hindsight because hindsight's one of those things that people say, well, you should have done this. Well, yeah, knowing what you know now, yeah, maybe you should have. So here's the deal. I'm still kind of tired from running. I, I got out and looked too, because it's important to do that. Um, anyway, so I lost about four hours doing that nice little favor. And I've had some people reply back and they were honest and they're like, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it. I probably just, that's somebody else's problem. And you know, in trucking, if uh, I can't blame, I, I don't blame anybody and uh, nobody should blame me if I do it. Um, it's probably in, in the future I may have, I guess the trick would be is to evaluate whether, cause there was a Petra on both ends from where I started and where I finished. So the chances are I could have probably made it now. Had I made it without getting this trailer tire fixed, had I made it all the way there without a problem, I dropped, I'd have four more hours on my, I would have had four more hours on my uh, clock to drive, but that wasn't the case because I got the tire fixed. So I lost about four hours there. And then unexpectedly, which is, a synonymous word to trucking unbeknownst to me I've never sat this long waiting for an empty but uh, the planners weren't getting back with my dispatcher and and uh, my dispatcher typically likes to do everything through message and he's got 38 other drivers so I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and I'm trying to be patient and I'm thinking you know it's a good thing I got this minimum guarantee because I would definitely not be this patient if that were the case. I would be raising heck. Now, the only problem with the minimum pay is I'm not. I'm, I'm missing out on the opportunity to run more miles because um, if I run over 2,500 miles, then I make uh, more money in a week. But the way they've been dealing dealing with it lately is uh, the freight's slow or the planners are unorganized. One of the two. So I. <sighs> 
So I got it fixed, came here, dropped my load, sat, and I sat for two hours. Two hours. Who sits for two hours and waits for dispatch to say, oh, go up the road. And what's funny is, is uh, I just don't know the area. I've been to Planet Jersey enough. I'm starting to get to know this place way too familiar. But I've been to this one place before where they sent me for an empty and uh, it never became available and I had to shut down at this location, Bobtail, um, which I was fine with because I knew I could find a spot, Bobtail. But he sends me to this place and I'm like, oh, here we go. This is like deja vu, but the empty was there. It was good. No problems with it that I could see. I gave it a real quick once over. Yeah, there's, here's people honking all the time right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but you know, drivers are tired. They want to get in their spot or they want to get in their fuel and they want to go, whatever. But um, this is not ideal time for parking that uh that rush hour trucking parking time and it's different in every city but when you're in the northeast it's limited and right about less than a mile from now is a petro but you got to spend twenty dollars of your own money in the store uh which you can easily do with a nice dinner or because they got a good good uh, restaurant or uh you got to buy at least sixty dollars worth of fuel sixty gallons or sixty dollars one of the two probably sixty dollars so and i didn't i didn't want to do i didn't want to do either and i checked the trucker path that said it was open so i didn't believe it but it said it was lots of spaces and actually there kind of was lots of spaces so i got lucky there so i'm parked but i only made i only drove now i'm an over the road truck driver oh, you should average messaging. you should average four to you know four to five hundred miles a day easily and uh i drove a whopping 165 miles today that's like local that's like regional so this was not a good uh this was not a great start of the week but i'll go tomorrow i'll get my load and then i'll run out uh to Dayton, Ohio, and then we'll go from there. So maybe it'll end up good. I'll keep you posted. But I did want to share with you, in hindsight, I should have just left the trailer for somebody else to deal with, I think. So here's the fuel island right here. This is where everybody's trying to get to. So that's where everybody's trying to get to. And you can see the long line that develops when trucks are trying to get in. There's still a few spots. They're just not ideal because all the trucks are trying to pass by there. There's a couple spots still. So you can see the traffic that I had to deal with when I was trying to spot park. Nice looking tanker. So they held me, they held back and they gave me enough room to get in. So hey, I'm happy about that. <laughs> it's funny when people see your video and they're like, what's he doing? I'm sharing with my with my friends and subscribers. That's what I'm doing. But you can see here, it's trucks coming in. It's, it's just a constant flow, fairly constant anyway. And now there's a combination of people that are gonna be scrambling to park and still try to get fuel. So this guy's got his eye on the spot next to me, but he's way too wide. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, guys. Just thought I'd share. Nothing but an adventure out here.